we hear a lot. We cover it here. We hear a lot about Saudi Arabia spending billions to buy, uh, you name it, entire sports sectors, uh, build outrageous giga, giga projects, host all existing global platform, global forums like the World Expo and FIFA World Cup, along with any number of sort of ambitious, surprising, and to some people, we have to be honest, threatening initiatives. Um, and I wanted to bring our listeners' attention to a $1 billion initiative that they may not be familiar with, and that is the Evolution Foundation. Evolution is a combination of health and evolution. And the Saudi government uh, established this as a not, not nonprofit in 2018 with a specific mission to extend the healthy human lifespan by supporting research and entrepreneurships in the, in the field of health span science. So established in 2018, but uh, operations started in July last year, 2022. Evolution has focused mostly on establishing itself, you know, getting, getting going, and it's dispersed about $20 million to date. However, according to its CEO, Dr. Mahmoud Khan, who, by the way, uh, was chief scientific officer of PepsiCo for more than a decade, uh, what do I always say? PepsiCo's everywhere where we go, or, or everywhere we go, PepsiCo's been there first. Um, uh, but Dr. Mahmoud Khan has said that spending is expected to ramp up towards $1 billion within the next two to four years. Now, what I really like and am impressed by is that Evolution won't conduct its own research. Instead, it's going to work with established institutions to pump money into underfunded areas of study. So according to Dr. Khan, quote, we're sort of doing the non-traditional approach. Who else might be able to solve the problem? One of our goals is to actually attract new scientists in terms of entering science and scientists from adjacent, adjacent fields that may not have data, but their technologies could be relevant to solving the issues we're trying to solve, unquote. Um, Dr. Khan adds that, and we like this, much of the initial grant money is likely to end up at universities and startups in the U.S., where scientists are trying to develop treatments that slow, prevent, or, re or reverse the aging process for humans. So Evolution recently hired two investment partners, plans to announce its first direct investment for the end of this year. Um, it has a registered an, uh, a nonprofit entity in the U.S. and an LLC with an office plan for Boston and others to follow in Europe and Asia. So a couple of quotes. And, I, and a, lot, a lot of this information was from, is from a, a very good Wall Street Journal article just last week on Evolution. So Stephen Ostad, who's Senior Science Director at the American Federation for Aging Research, AFAR, it's a U.S. nonprofit that has received $7.6 million from Evolution. So you see Evolution is farming out the money, making contributions and grants to entities already in the field. So Stephen Ostad says, quote, the prospect of a huge surge of funding into the area whose budgets pale in comparison to research on diseases like cancer is causing a stir among scientists who study aging. People in the field are kind of holding their breath to see how the money is going to be spent, unquote. Uh, Afar's executive director, Stephanie Lederman, uh, quote, in the beginning, people were skeptical, but I think a lot of that has kind of gone away because they see what uh, we're giving out the money, unquote. So they see that money is flowing, it's getting into, it's being invested. Um, <clears throat> so, to close, really, this one big thing. I mean, this is this is really fascinating. It's an exciting spend by Saudi Arabia. And, and Lucian, you hear me frequently mention Saudi Arabia's habit of committing huge sums of money to sectors it deems important but aren't yet profitable. I, you know, I, I call them lost leaders. You know, with the the expectation, hope, or 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 you know, bet that they'll pay off in the end. And and this is another one. Um, and. I thought this was really interesting. This sort of speaks to what I'm talking about, loss leaders. Dr. Khan says he would like to see Evolution help identify biomarkers to track aging and also fund early large-scale human trials for existing repurposed drugs to treat aging. The reason he is interested in these areas is that they require substantial funding but are unlikely to generate quick profits. So I think Saudi Arabia deserves a little credit. Uh, for this, you know, billion-dollar lost linear initiative that is intended to promote, support, and further science that will hopefully benefit the entire world. Aging science is, you know, 
frontier stuff. It's it's very new. It's not as well funded as some of these other areas of, you know, just general biotech and cancer research. Some of those areas are, are not, I don't want to say too well funded because until they solve the problems that they are setting out to solve, they're not funded enough. But this is new. And that's what's cool about it to me is that Saudi Arabia is putting money down into a field that's just developing, not already developed and already established all over the world. I mean, it is being established in the US, but there's a really serious funding problem. And and we read the same uh, Wall Street Journal article, Richard, obviously, but I mean, this this piece is really good and it's it's really fair. Uh, Stephen Kalin, I know you know, it has does, just does a fantastic job with this because he sort of talks about, you know, the funding situation is not great, but Evolution coming in makes it, pretty big difference and speaks to these people who are in receipt of this funding. And, you know, that's that's cool. I think the upside for Saudi Arabia, you mentioned they don't actually do the research themselves. They are act, they're sort of farming it out. It's almost like a fund to fund other funds and research and grants and stuff like that. But, you know, they may be putting in some investments and some money into to funds that or or to startups that become very profitable and become something that everybody must have. And it's interesting because on the website for Evolution, they have some data that's just kind of interesting about, you know, the world, more and more people in the world every day, 80% of older people will be living in low and middle income countries by 2050, 2.1 billion people over 60 by 2050. Wow. I mean, 72.3 years will be the global average life expectancy by 2050. So this is cool. I mean, I don't really have much to add. This is just like really, really cool. And that they're, you know, that they're, first of all, wealthy enough to be able to do this a billion dollars a year. I know they're not ramped up to that spending yet. They're sort of establishing themselves as an organization, which takes time. They are based in CAF, Richard, which is interesting. Yeah. Um, you know, but they're, they're, they're just, this is one of those things where, you know, and the, the, another great quote in here is, and I don't have it right in front of me, but they basically say, well, look, there's always going to be problems with taking money from Saudi Arabia. There will be people that, that are against it no matter what. And that every time this comes up, you know, this is sort of the same conversation, but a lot of these people are just like, well, you know, we need the money. We, we need the money to continue our research. This is not about the political situation or the conversation du jour. It's about helping people live longer. So this is a really great story. Highly recommend it. Um, and we will include a link to it um, on YouTube and, and on our website as well. It is a good one. Uh, a few thoughts. One, uh, I'm in particular more so than you interested in, you know, progress on the on the aging front, you know, <laughs> hurry, hurry uh, to Stephen Kalin's first rate. He's a fellow graduate from Davidson College. Um, and three, that's what I really liked about this. You know, the inclination is you got a, a, a lot of money is that we'll set up our own foundation. We'll hire our own, you know, we'll do a, you know, a whole bureaucracy and admin and and scientists and experts, and we'll do it. And, 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 you know, that's not an efficient use of funding. And I like that they're saying, oh, we're not doing that. We're going to find the best and the brightest, see who needs it and, and help them do their work better. And I think that's a really, that's the right way to go about it. And, and again, it's one of those things, this isn't about, um, you can argue that, you know, maybe they should spend all their money on diabetes or obesity or this sort of thing, which are very specific homegrown problems. And they are, of course. Um, but this is something you can look at and go, this is a global, this is a global issue. And you just, you just cited some facts, uh, and some data and, and they're pumping a bunch of money in that has, wasn't available before. So hopefully it might, it could very well make a real difference. I hope so. We all age. So it does affect me just as much yeah. as you, Richard. I, yeah, and I just kind of feel it's, it, yeah. We're doing this a little late later than normal. And if we don't hurry up, I got to go take a nap. I agree. I, I think they should hurry up about <laughs> it's, it. It's <laughs> early afternoon. I'm fading. I need my nap. That's and then right. I got to go to the blue plate special. <laughs> the uh, Salisbury steak, 430. Yeah, at the Olive Garden, 530 Olive Garden. <laughs> um, really good one. I hope um, perhaps that we will have somebody on from this organization at some point soon. And it'd be great to learn about what they're doing, where they are and their build out. Uh, maybe that's coming on the 966 this fall. We do have a very nice awesome teaser. Nice lineup. Teaser. Maybe, yeah, maybe. maybe. Inshallah. Maybe, yeah. <laughs>